Hello and welcome to The Pin Man. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Jinhao 75. And immediately you're probably thinking, this looks like a copy of a Parker Sonic. You know what? You're right. Coloring is, uh, color scheme is more like a Parker IM, but a uh, little combination, but yeah, they, Jin Hao tries it again. Eh, whatever. Okay, let's get to it. So here we have a look at this Jin Hao 75. The retail price for the Jin Hao 75 is on average about $10. You can get them a little bit cheaper. Uh, AliExpress will sell them for as low as three or four dollars, but you have to pay uh, like six dollars shipping. So uh, then others is ten dollars and free shipping. So about the same. Amazon is ten dollars. eBay anywhere from seven to to ten dollars. The seventy-five uh, takes standard international cartridges, uh, both long and short and uh, standard international converter. I like the color scheme of this pen. And, it, and as I mentioned earlier, you, you can tell. Uh, I mean, just taking a look at that clip, that is definitely a Parker copy clip. Although the, uh, I'll say this much, the feathers, even though there are some, uh, perhaps you can see the little lines there, uh, so they do have some of that, but it's not going to be like the Parkers. The band, the band simply says Jin Hao. Doesn't say the 75. Jin Hao. I do, I do like this color configuration, this red and black. That's just, red and black always goes together. Take a look at the uh, cap finial there. It's kind of a, I, I would say like a jelly donut shape. <laughs> I don't know. It's not. It's not really. It's not flat. It's not really round. Uh, just jelly donut. Okay. And then uh, again, the clip. The clip is. You know, it's a nice, nice taut uh, type of feel to it. And then the body finial. You just come down there. It's got this little bitty point on the tip there. This little bitty. It's probably plastic. On them. It is, of course, a metal metal body. The nib comes in, you know, it's, a, it's the black nib there. Nice. This is a fine, and that's all I could find these as far as nib sizes. There was one place that said it was a medium, but a 0.5 millimeter me medium. Okay, so 0.5 is a fine. The nib size itself is a uh, number five nib. And then there's the uh, you know typical feed that you're gonna find with these. And these feeds, I've heard them called cheap plastic feeds, but you know what? Uh, they actually do pretty good. So, okay, let's let's uh, talk about lengths. You have the body length from nib tip to the finial is 124 millimeters capped. And this pin does cap securely. Capped it, it is 155 millimeters. The grip uh, section up to the middle there is about nine and a half millimeters. The body width is 11 millimeters. The grip length is 27 millimeters. And I'm gonna start throwing this in there even though it's a uh, metal pen because I'm doing that experiment on uh, doing metal pens. But anyway, just for the sake of measurements, this uh, body can hold a fluid capacity of four milliliters. Okay, so like I said, I'm doing this experiment on eyedroppering metal pens, and so we'll see how that 
uh, could pertain. So until then, alrighty, how about some size comparisons? Here we have the Jinhao 75. You have the Pilot Metropolitan and the Lamy Safari. You have the Jinhao X450 and the Twisby Eco. Here they are uncapped. And here they are posted. Now off to a writing sample. Right, writing sample for the Jinhao 75. They call this a fine nib, but I think it writes more like a uh, medium fine to medium. The ink that we're using today is Monte Verde Let's see Sweet Life it's that Sweet Life series there and this is called Pumpkin Cake It's kind of a, I don't know, depending on your lighting, like a lightish brown with some red tones to it. All right. Nib keeps up well. It is a, it is a pretty smooth nib, and if it is a true fine, um, it's not... It's not real scratchy. This is a nice nib. So, let's see. Wetness. Moderately wet nib. Any kind of flex. Let's see. Uh, not too much, but it is a steel nib. So, but pressing down, you don't get a, a ton of line variation, a little bit, but uh, you can get some extra ink out there that uh, makes it look kind of nice if you need that. Reverse writing. So let's move this up a little bit. Okay, not too good on the reverse writing, which is a little odd for gin house. Let me get some ink flowing. Sometimes, let's see, how about this? Yeah, you can get like an extra, extra, extra fine, but uh, you really gotta put some effort into that. Okay. Overall, I like, uh, I like the pen. I like the way it writes, the size is kind of on the size is kind of on the for me getting to the smaller but it's not that bad the number five nib does again make you have to angle a little bit more uh, but uh, depending on your writing style you may like that the uh, again it uncapped it's plenty long in my hand so i like that and again capped if you like to cap, it really doesn't throw the weight off at all. It kind of, yeah, it, it doesn't make it unbalanced. And right here, sometimes that's why I don't like to cap, not only because I don't like the, the big long extension on the end or the weight, especially with metal pens, but see how the band will oftentimes ride right around the knuckle. And for a larger hand, you're probably going to hit that knuckle uh, easier but uh, e even at that this a it's kind of a smooth a little smoother transition it's not noticeable so but you know if that's would bother you then you got that but anyway the, I you know I think this is pretty good pretty nice pin and especially for the price ten dollars uh, usually with free shipping um, 
down. I like it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a smiley face. There you go. The Jin Hao 75. All right, you folks have a great day. Bye.